Hi everyone, it's Leah and Matt at Flytrap Store. Matt is out in the garage feeding baby flytraps. And he has this mask on because he has a serious allergy to, what are they named? Freeze blood dried worms. blood worms. Freeze dried blood worms. One year he got it in his eye and he looked like a pirate. He could not close, or he couldn't open one eye. and <laughs> It was something else. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna show how it's done. Uh, he's going to show you how it's done. You ready? Sure. So these are all just plants out of tissue culture. They've been here, oh, I don't know what, two months? I think we showed them when we potted them out. I yeah. I have to go back and look at the date on the video, but they actually have some functional traps now. At least most of them do. And uh, I've not done this in the past, but um, I did some feeding this summer on tiny plants that I wanted to rush to size, and I was surprised how fast they grew. So I decided I was going to do some feeding this winter and we're kind of in between things right now so I got a little time so that's what I'm doing today and uh, I am certainly no expert at this but I basically am taking a toothpick and getting a little ball of freeze-dried blood worms rehydrated and rolling it up and putting it on the tip of the toothpick and I've been able to get some really tiny uh, traps fed this way it's hard and it's tedious but the results are worth it if you can if you have the time especially if you just have a few plants i don't think it's feasible for us to feed all of our plants all the time but uh we have a few here that are about ready to uh, move outside probably in another month or so and i figured i'd give them a little head start on the spring so anyway i'm gonna stick this little meatball freeze-dried bloodworm meatball into this <laughs> trev's dracula trap here so and what are you doing here Explain what you just did. So, uh, fly traps that aren't, uh, or that don't catch, or sorry, prey for fly traps that isn't alive won't stimulate the trigger hairs on the inside to know to digest. So, the trap will shut, as you saw, but I am just squeezing the sides of it to stimulate it so it uh, knows to start digesting. And I'm trying so to get all of it in there, but. Drop it in there and then. Do you have to touch it twice to make it close, well, or are you just squeezing it? Some of these traps aren't very responsive. I think they've been triggered a lot already by these little fungus gnats that are running around. So, um, yeah, I just drop it in there. And some of them close on their own. Sometimes I smash them shut. But just the idea is to try to get the trap shut and start digesting. So By smash, you means gently squeeze. Squeeze it <laughs> as hard as you can. No. <laughs> oh, wait. You're kind of getting in the light. I can't see very well there. I'm oh, sorry. So, I don't know. This is not perfect uh, conditions for doing this. I probably should turn on an overhead light, but these lights work well enough for me. But um, He's talking about the lights that are on top of the tissue cultured plants. Uh, there's one set of LED and one set of, um, but what do you call them? They're fluorescent. Fluorescent. T5 fluorescent bulbs. T5. Yeah. Another and meatball. A, yeah, I'm making a little meatball for these tiny traps. It's super tedious and it usually takes me a couple of tries and I don't always get it in there before the traps close and I can't open it without possibly damaging so I just move on. But um, Again, the lighting is hard with your camera blocking out all the light I have. But There we go. One more, I'll do this little guy over here. With the larger traps, you don't have to squeeze them like that, right? They just kind of clamp no, on anytime them. you're feeding a trap... Oh, if it's not alive. If it's not a live it prey, wiggle. it won't notice. You won't know to start digesting it, so you're going to have to smash them to shut. trigger the trigger hairs. Twice, in about 20 seconds. Well, that's what gets the trap to shut. Yeah. You can also just smash the trap shut. Yes. Or gently squeeze. Smash it. Stop it. And that one's fed. I fed one's all the fed. traps. Most of the time people recommend not feeding all the traps at once, but I did it this summer. And what happens is basically they start shedding the traps because <laughs> they can't process the food that much at once. Oh. But the new growth is just way faster. So I went ahead and I'm trying to feed any trap that I can get that's open because a lot of these aren't... Uh, and we have maybe a trap or two, most of them that are big enough and ready to catch anything because they're 
just starting to get rolling on their growth now. Yeah, um, they're pretty culture. small. So. Okay. Well, thanks for showing us, Matt. Oh, yeah. Bye, you gross little bloodworms. <laughs> Where do you get bloodworms, by the way? I think I ordered these on Amazon. This container okay. here was, I don't know, like 10 bucks for, what is this, four ounces or something? Okay. Two ounces. Okay. I don't remember what it was, but... Thank you. Yeah. Bye.